here with you today. Today we are creating this beautiful look right here. I can't wait to show you everything and to play with new products. So stay till the end of the video to reveal all the secrets of this makeup. And now let's rock this look. Well, 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 guess what we're gonna start with? Of course, primer. My favorite Smashbox primer. Today, I'm going with my Chaplin Hills palette by Morphe. And today, I'm starting with the light shade of this palette, which is Beam. I will pack my entire lid with it. So with my Sonia Kashuk 273 brush, I'm gonna get into the MFEO color. I will use it as a transition shape and I will put it as high to the brow as possible. Now I'm getting into Love You So Mochi Sleek and Chic palette. With the same brush I've used, I'm gonna get the orange shade. And I will keep building my crease. Now back to the Jacqueline's palette, I will get the shade Hunts. to get back to my NYX Love You So Mochi to the same orange color here and to work my inner part of the eye a little bit. I want to quickly sneak into my um, limited edition MAC Royal Essence palette. And I'm gonna do it with my Morphe 507 brush. With this shade, I'm going to highlight under the brow. With the same Morphe 507 brush, I'm getting into the Jackie Hills palette, shade Roxanne. And a little bit darkening my outer corner. As well, I'm going to be putting this color all the way toward my lower lash line. For more brightness and definition of the crease, I will put my concealer in the center of the eye. I will do it with help of my concealer brush by MAC number 195. I bet you wonder why am I using the old concealer? I've been talking about testing the new ones for the week. That's right, and we're gonna get to that a little later. First, I wanna do my eyes perfectly with the trusted one, and afterwards, we will go to testing new concealer under the eyes and on the face. So we are not ruining our eye makeup at least. Here it is, two perfect cut crease. With this makeup I feel kind of Cleopatra, feeling so chic and um, kind of a cat eye like she has. And a very funny thing about her is uh, that she had her signature scent, uh, like we all do have the favorite perfumes or something. But she went really big with that one because every time she was sailing away, she ordered to sink in the sails with her favorite perfumes so everyone could know that Cleopatra is coming. That is big girl. In a Jackie Hills palette, I will go to the shade Crimsicle. So I've just prepared a base for something big coming and it is Tarte Paint Pot. And this little guy is deadly in a fallout. So I prefer to apply it with my fingers and it still will have some fallouts, but it will apply so beautifully. I am 
get into my L'Oreal Infallible Tint Liner in shade White Party. sweethearts with the eye makeup I will stop where I'm right now do my face and then we'll go back to my eyes for the foundation today I'm using my wet n wild photo focus foundation I will apply it to the tray add a drop of the kills day reviving concentrate oil and apply it to my entire face with my Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge <laughs> To be honest, you guys, um, I can't stop playing with this foundation. I've discovered it and I kind of liked it at first, but every time I'm playing with it and trying something new with it, I just enjoy it more and more. I can state that at this time, from the drugstore foundations I own, this one is the best one. I mean, it totally amazes me because Wet n Wild is an affordable brand. Uh, I won't say that all their products are flawless. For example, the Photo Focus Concealer of the same brand, eh, not their best. It's okay, but not the best. But this foundation, it's like, it's a bomb. So and as soon as it's settled, right, like right now, it will not move. Yeah, you can erase it, but I mean, it's a foundation, it's supposed to be erasable. And even if I will touch it slightly, uh, it will not be a disaster, so I enjoy this one. To the fun part we go, our concealer. Today I'm trying another drugstore concealer, which is Flower. It is Drew Barrymore's brand. Uh, it is sold in Ulta right now. Let me show it to you. So the good things, um, I do enjoy the packaging. It's very stylish and nice package with beautiful colors, that pink, gold and white, they go together nicely. So this one states to have a um, softly angled tip for precise application. Uh, it says that it is weightless feel and that it is a crease proof. I am completely intrigued and I will not put any setting powder for the under eye area today. The only thing I've been a bit disappointed with at the store uh, is that they don't have a huge shade range and I'm afraid this one may be too dark for me. It kind of has like three or four concealers. Here we go. I hope it won't be too dark but there is a chance because it's one to two fair. So let's let's check out the package. So it's a good plastic, it feels sturdy and nice. The lid is like this. It is pretty much angled. It is slightly scented, nothing too serious. So let's apply it under the eyes and see how it will blend. Let's do one side at a time. I'm kind of nervous. To be honest, I'm impressed. At this point, it glides on easily and it blends well. It feels really light and neutral. Let me go around my nose a bit. Hmm, I like the color. I thought it's gonna be too light, but I mean, it's totally not. It, it's nice. So far, so good. We have to check it for creasing. We have to check it for being sticky. So let me do the other eye and we'll go back to this side afterwards. I don't know what's going on, you guys, but I am impressed. To be honest, I'm really skeptical about all the concealers because I've seen the good ones, I've seen the bad ones. It is such an issue for me. Uh, it's so hard to find the color, it's so hard to find the good texture, uh, and even the good ones, uh, which are admired by a lot of people, they don't work for me in most cases because I still crease a lot. Or 
it looks too dry on me or something. So I am struggling to find a good concealer like every time. And even if I will find the good one, I will still kind of not like it to the very end. Like all hundred percent. So that's why I've decided to make this challenge and to buy a bunch to try them all out and to determine the best ones and the worst ones, at least for myself. And you can have some thoughts and ideas and maybe there will be something that will work for you and I will be helpful. So we took a little break to chit chat and uh, I gave the concealer a few minutes and it started creasing. So as I told you, even the crease proof concealer will crease on me. So I will go to the setting powder, I will even it right now and set it with my MAC setting powder. As usual, I'm gonna use my MAC 116 brush and MAC set powder. <laughs> This concealer is completely not bad. I do like it. The creasing is kind of my <laughs> my personal problem with all the concealers. So I'm not mad at this one and it creased just minor. Boy. While we're baking, I will reach for my It Cosmetics You Sculpted and the same 116 brush by MAC. With my It Cosmetics Flawless Blush Brush, I will use Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge. That smell is amazing and makes me think about summertime. Time for brows and I have something fun to try out today. It is L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I haven't opened it yet. But to me, at store, it looks something like uh, Anastasia's Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I hope it's something like that because I really love those. So it comes with a spoolie and a brush, and it comes with the very pomade. Yes, it is pomade, so that's what it says. So, and by the way, the shade is Deep Brunette 215. I'm extremely curious about the consistency of this product because when you work with Anastasia's pomade, you have to warm it up on your hand um, for it to apply better. I'm just really interested what this one is. Ooh, look at that. And this is a little spoolie brush. So it's spoolie and brush, <laughs> two in one. Um, okay, let's do the brows. Let's comb them first. So uh, the brush grabs product nicely. That is a good pigment there. I'm liking it. I hope it will not move and it will not smudge. So it stays uh, on the package. It states that um, it is glides on smoothly and that's so true. I'm so impressed right now. I do love the, the result I have here at the beginning of the journey. Um, the thing they state is that it's gonna stay put for 24 hours uh, and it will not smudge or move. I want to try however I will not sleep in my makeup of course but I will wear it as long as I can so far I love the color I love the texture and pigment um, it looks so good and it feels so well So that's what I'm looking into a quality products, at least with the application, this brow gel, this brow pomade, it just does the job for you. It just applied itself onto my eyebrows and made me look good. Okay, now I wanna go back to my uh, Jaclyn Hills palette to the shade Hunts and with Sonia Kashuk Smudge Brush applied to the lower lid. <laughs> 
highlight the inner corners of my eyes with my little finger I'm applying the shade beam the first one we've applied to entire leaf so far it seems like I'm having a good makeup day fingers crossed let me put my mascara on and it is going to be roller lash by benefit So right now, I'm gonna apply my falsies off-camera and be right back. Well, 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 uh, our beautiful lashes are on. So let me think, foundation, concealer, da 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 Of course, we have to apply lipstick and then go to the highlight. For our lips today, I'm using my favorite little baby here. It is NYX Powder Puff. The shade I'm gonna use today is Best. Buds. It is nudie and pinkish one undertones. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of matching color of my lips. Right now I'm dying for some highlight and I'm gonna use my Love You So Mochi by NYX golden one. To apply it, once again I will use my MAC 116 brush. our look and set everything uh, I've decided to try Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray let's see how it works <laughs> at the end of the video I can't tell you now how happy I am because of you guys subscribing it means a world to me I really appreciate that today we had so much fun together playing with new products uh, trying out new makeup style and just chit-chatting I enjoyed it so much I can't wait till tomorrow to see you in my other video and of course I love you all Please subscribe, those who are not. <laughs> Don't forget to put thumbs up and see you in my next one. For now,